this is one of the most powerful hurricanes ever to hit our country. Is that actually a fact? Um, well, you know, so for in this area, this would be the most intense hurricane that's uh, that struck this area uh, since 1851, if I remember correctly. So uh, this, well, this, this, this would be it. Yeah. Electric companies are from all over the country, actually. They're all lined up. As soon as it goes by, they're going to be working. And uh, we've got food supplies, food chains. We're working with all of the states. We've done is we've sent buses. We've sent a lot of different. Uh, we're doing a lot of different things to try and remove people from the area. But a lot of people are very poor in certain of those areas. And it's very tough for them to leave. That's one of the problems you're finding, I guess. Huh? Uh, yeah. All of this, as we learned, that the, that the radar in Tallahassee has now come offline offline and we, we're not getting any more weather information. That's one location where it's simply been overwhelmed by the weather. I don't want people to be alarmed by that fire alarm. It's simply a signal that the power has gone out inside the hotel. We've seen from time to time uh, shingles and sheet metal being ripped off uh, different structures. Obviously, the truck. same location and I've got to tell you a significant uh, scare for the families who are inside this hotel with us as you're looking out through the window you can see the roof of the uh, hotel that we had been standing out there that was the shelter for a category 4 hurricane that has now come down on those SUVs that I was just telling you about earlier Listen, the wind is picking up so much we're going to take a break uh, Florida panhandle now so Tallahassee and cities like that will be seeing exactly what we have with the winds they just won't be facing a lot of the storm surge, and Georgia needs to know that, too. Huge a sign from down the street uh, ripped off its foundation, came barreling down just behind us. So uh, we're staying more inside for now. And again, the biggest change is just these winds are intense. They're constant, and you can hear them whipping past your ears a uh, nonstop. See, you can see that roof down on a number of cars that were out there. Those were some of the SUVs that were parked there. <laughs> there on the side.